So I don't care what the media tells you, Mr. Trump. We support you. Uh, we support you. you. Okay, 4 p.m. We've been 4 p.m. Come here, let me give you a hug. Please do. Unbelievable. Donald Trump getting an enthusiastic welcome as he talks to supporters in Atlanta while treating them to Chick-fil-A. Meanwhile, at the White House, President Biden is hosting the A-list celeb as well as the Clintons for a five-star state dinner and only taking specific questions. Watch. Third, next question. Who do I call on next? Hang on a second. I got my list here. Fox News contributor Bill McGurn joins us now. So, Bill, I, I want to go to where we started off is it's that supporter of the president she comes up to the president and says i don't care what the media says we support you do you think there's a lot of americans out there even in black communities that feel the same way yeah lawrence the polls are showing it joe biden's support is dropping with traditional democratic demographics like the young latinos black men and so forth um, I would say that any Trump supporter has to be despite what the media says. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think the media criticisms probably help Trump because a lot of people think it's so unfair. Yeah, Bill, what do you think this election is going to go to? Is it going to be about the coalitions that Joe Biden is losing? Or do you think it's going to be more about the people that are just going to stay at home? Or is it this new coalition that Donald Trump is gaining on? It's not just black voters, but it's Hispanic, more young voters. It's, it's the choice of staying at home or switching your vo vote over to Donald Trump, right? Yeah, well, that that's a question, and that will dep depend on how they campaign. You know, if Joe Biden tries to do another hide in the basement, just pop his head up for prearranged questions, um, that's one thing. If there's a real campaign and debate, and especially if the press starts asking um, the president some tough questions, we might have a campaign. You know, when you're the president, you have to campaign on your record. That's one of Joe Biden's disadvantages from 2016. This time he has a record. In my view, it's not very good. Mm -hmm. it, it looks like, Bill, they want to campaign on the, the threat to democracy. We had Eric Trump on yesterday. He has some thoughts on that. Watch. This is an administration who's led close to 15 million illegals into this country, has flown 320,000 illegal immigrants into the United States. They've let wars break out all over the globe. And he's saying that, that Donald Trump is, is the threat to U.S. democracy. We're losing everything under Biden. We lost Afghanistan in the most embarrassing fashion ever. Our military is not as prepared as it was. And Donald Trump, who had none of these problems, is the threat to democracy. It's a joke. And just to add on that, Bill, you got a court system that, that now is targeting poli political opponents right now. I think that's a threat to democracy. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I agree with you. Um, I'm not sure that dog's going to hunt. Um, but... That might be Joe Biden's best uh, strategy. He can't run on the economy. You know, we just got inflation news. He, 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 he can't run on foreign policy. He lost Afghanistan in a humiliating way. Um, he's not giving Ukraine what needs to win when he says he supports them. Same with Israel. He supports their right to defend itself, and then he chops them off at the knees anytime they want to do something. So I, I think if I were Joe Biden, I probably wouldn't want to campaign on my record. Look, they got a bad product to sell mm -hmm. the Biden record, and they got two of the worst salesmen to sell it, Joe <laughs> Biden and Kamala Harris. That's why all the former presidents are at all the events, because you can't run Joe, but you have to run Joe. The rest of them are term limited. Uh, Bill, thanks so much for joining the program. Thanks so much, Lawrence. You have a good day. You too. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.